Hey, hope all is well. Praying that everybody's day has been blessed so far and will continue to be, child. Because my day has been great, amen. So let us all rejoice and be glad in whatever it is that the Lord is doing. One, he woke us up. We're still in a number. So we say glory be to God for all things. Well, I want to say thank you and welcome to the Jones family for all of those who have subscribed to the channel. If not, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And please be sure to share this word out with your family and friends, amen, so that we can continue spreading God's word and spreading his love and giving people hope, amen. And God just may be using you as a point of contact to get this message to them, amen. Well, today's topic is beauty for ashes. God said he's giving you beauty for the ashes. He have seen the tears. He have heard the cries. He have heard you uh, praying. He got the prayers in this little book. He done kept up with all of them. Amen. And God said he's about to change your life, your entire life. The things that you have been crying about over the last year or so, child, you will never have to cry about them again. God is making some great things happen in your life. Amen. So God needs for you to cheer up. He needs you to be motivated. Amen. And encouraged in this moment because he said he's showing Showing up to give you beauty for those ashes in Jesus name. But before I get started, allow me to pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your grace and mercy. We thank you, Lord God, for all that you have done. But as I decrease, Father God, you increase. And Father, I ask that you forgive us for everything that we have done that was displeasing in your sight, Lord God, in Jesus name. But Lord God, we ask that you show us the way, Lord God. Help us to wait with all patience and perseverance because we know that you are able to do exceedingly abundantly and above all that we may ask or think so lord god help us to wait because we know it is already done according to scripture and so lord god when we come to you we must believe lord god and we believe everything that you have said even our thoughts shall come to pass and we know that you are the god of multiplication and so we know that you are showing up with more than what we ask for so god help us to receive you and your word in this season but lord god we give you thanks lord god for the manifestation of your glory that rest in us upon us lord god so that great men lord god may find us open doors that no man can shut lord god in the mighty name of jesus so that we may multiply into great and strong nations in jesus mighty name father god i just ask that you take your place right now lord god in the mighty name of Jesus, and I decree and declare these things are done in your son Jesus' name. Amen. God said he's giving you beauty for ashes. Your entire life is about to change. God, the, the gave me a word I'm so excited about, amen, because he keep giving me these words and stuff like that, but it's hard for me to receive it for myself. I have to hear it from somebody else, but child, I'm going to eat this word up too, amen, but the Lord is sending beauty for your uh, ashes, amen. So don't worry about no tears. Don't worry about what you don't have. Don't worry about the suffering because God said nothing that you have went through was in vain. Amen. And he finna turn it into beauty. Amen. God said your entire life is about to change. He led me to Isaiah 60 and I'm going to start reading at verse 22. This is what he gave me out. It says, a little one shall become a thousand and a small one, a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in his time. Let me tell you what the scripture mean. Okay, a little one shall become a thousand, meaning you can be the least important person. God is about to make your name great. He's about to make you great in his time. And when the time do come, it's going to happen swiftly. It's going to happen quickly. So don't worry about the things that you went through. But guess what? God is counting every tear. Amen. So you're going to have to continue believing and trusting that God is going to show up on your behalf. Even the least greatest person is about to become great. Amen. And what God reminded me of, he reminded me of two people of what's the Glorilla and another girl of Sexy Red. God said, what you think happened to them? It was he who done that for them. So don't worry about you living in the country. Don't worry about you staying in a place where don't know about that they ain't even on the map probably. Child, God said, it don't matter where you at. He know your address and he's showing up to it. Amen. God said, he done heard your tears. And God said, he done know that your family been going through so much. And God said, your entire life is about to change. He's giving you beautiful ashes. But let me keep reading because it get greater. L listen at this. It said, I'm reading in 61 now. It says, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captive and the opening of the prison to those who are bound 
Wait a minute. This just, just don't mean about people in jail, child. People that's in jail that's not supposed to be in jail, who have been in jail for quite some time, is being freed. It's because of God. It's because of his glory. Amen. So if you in jail, if you have a family member in jail, tell them they're going to be getting out a little bit early. And not only the people that is physically locked up, but some people have been physically, I mean, uh, spiritually locked up in their finances, in their romance, in the area of love. You've been going through a season of rejection seem like ain't nobody trying to holler at your child please god said all of those areas in your life every area that you have cried and you have prayed and asked god for deliverance in those areas in the area of healing in the area of sickness god said he's delivering you he you are no longer bound to those things god said after this day after this year, you'll never have to suffer those things again. Anything that you done brought before the presence of the Lord, you will never have to worry about it again. If you done cried about it, God said you'll never cry about it again. The only cries or the only tears that you're going to shed is tears of joy, knowing that God has showed up for you the way that he has promised. God said you're no longer bound by the things that had previously enslaved you. Child, please, say for instance, like I used to be drinking and smoking and committing adultery and fornicating and whatever else that I used to do talking about people like I used to be caught up in all that type of slave the things that had me enslaved those are the things that God said you've been waiting on deliverance and it's here You've been waiting on healing and it's here you've been waiting on God to recompense you and to restore you and God said it's here it's here. It's here. Amen. God said, continue holding on. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to keep reading. It says to proclaim, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all who mourn. You've been mourning, child. I've been mourning, child. And God said it was not in vain. He's showing up just the way he said it. He would. He's showing up the way that you think he would. He's showing up. In the name of Jesus, you didn't cry, child. I didn't cry. We didn't cry. And God said, he's sending his word to comfort us. Amen. And his spirit in the name of Jesus. It says, to console those who mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, Child, haven't it been heavy? Haven't we been feeling weighed down and burdened down? And everybody always say, you know, God will never put more on you. Can, you can bear a child. Please, he will. So you can give up. So he can have control over your life. And God said, you have passed. You done gave him the goal. You done gave him the will. And he's proud of you. Amen. It says that they may be called trees of righteousness. God had to do some things within you. Amen. He had to change the in, inward man and the outward. Amen. And it says the planting of the Lord that he may be glorified. Amen. So what God is about to do for you, what God has done in you and through you, child. God said he's making your name great. He will be glorified. Everybody going to know it was nobody but God. Amen. Like Corrine said, look at God. You're going to be saying look at God over and over over and over again amen god said it's about to happen for you and so he led me to the book of ephesians child and let me tell you this um i like to read the above scripture and the below scripture so i can get a full complete understanding of what god was saying in this moment that i was studying or whatever so i'm gonna read some above scripture to get into you know the scripture that god gave me he told me to read um Ephesians 3 verses 20 to you, but I'm going to read above that. Amen. Because there's so much good stuff above it. Amen. And I want you to receive all of this in Jesus name. It says, I'm going to start reading at 14. It says, for this reason, I bow my knees to the father of our Lord Jesus Christ. From whom the whole, fa whole family in heaven and earth is named. That he may grant you according to the riches of his glory. And we know that our father is very rich in glory. Amen. And it says to be strengthened with might through his spirit in the inner man. Talking about your spirit, man. It says that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. No matter what we may go through. No matter what the enemy tell us. No matter what the world is telling us. That he may still dwell in our hearts through faith. That you being rooted and grounded in love. It says, may be able to comprehend with all the saints 
what is the width, the length, and the depth, and the heights. Amen. It says, to know the love of Christ, which surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Thank you for filling us up with you, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Now, this is this part. It says, now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above and all that we may ask or think according to the power that works in us. So you have to know that God is dwelling in you, that God himself is about to make it happen for you. Amen. Just keep God in your heart. God is in our hearts. Amen. And it is he who do all things. So what God is about to do for you. Yeah, you may have thought of it. Yeah, you may have asked and prayed for it. But child, it's only him that causes the manifestation. And God said he's about to turn those, that beauty, uh, uh, he's about to turn beauty into ashes. He's exchanging beauty for ashes. Amen. You didn't cry long enough. And you didn't suffer long enough. I don't know why I lost my train of thought. I had a, a um a, one of those moments that I always have, right? But anyways, it says that God is able to do what you ask him to do. He's able to do what you even what you think. And the things that you ask God for, he's about to show up with even more than you ask for. Because he's a God of multiplication. He ain't simple. Amen. God like to show out. And he's going to show up and show out in your life. He led me to Mark eleven twenty four. 24. It says, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. So as soon as you pray for something, go ahead on and start waiting for it. Because that's what I do. I go ahead on and start waiting. I want it to show up because God, you said it. I want to be a living proof. I want to be a walking testimony of all you have said. Amen. So I'm going to receive God and what he's saying. Amen. So Lord God, help us to wait patiently with perseverance in Jesus name, knowing that you are able Amen. God says the wait will not last forever. The wait will not last forever, child. And I know I've been waiting for a long time. And some of you all have been waiting for a long time too. But God said the wait would not last forever. And sometimes we can be waiting on ourselves while we thinking we waiting on God. God can be waiting on us. Amen. And I'm going to just tell y'all this. We make ourselves stay in the wilderness longer than we have to. Just like myself. God gave me a list of things to do, child. And I haven't done it the way God told me to do it. I've been doing it and tweaking it to where it fits our netter schedule. Amen. To where I want to do it when I want to do it. Right? And so that's made Making me wait. That's making me wait a little longer. So while you thinking you waiting on God, God can be waiting on you. Did God tell you to fast and pray? That ain't the thing. I, I do my fasting and my praying. But the working out part, child, I do a little bit and I stop. I do a little bit and I ain't been doing it the way he told me to do it. And I ain't been doing it right. You know, I've been being a little lazy and a little rebellious. I ain't gonna lie. When we do things, when we don't do what God asks us to do, that is rejecting God's wisdom. That is rejecting God altogether. Amen. So therefore, we're gonna have to repent for rejecting rejecting God because you know you ain't been doing everything God told you to do. I ain't the only one. And so God know you may be feeling drained. You may be not uh, feel like doing it. And God said, child, you ain't got time to do it. But at the same time, you better make time and stop procrastinating to do whatever it is, child, because you could be holding yourself up from your own blessings. Amen. God said, make time. Amen. And somebody been telling God that uh, you ain't, haven't been getting any younger. You ain't getting no younger. God know that. And God said, let me tell you something. Why are you talking about you ain't going to get no younger child. The Holy Spirit does not get old. The anointing does not reach a peak. God said the anointing does not age. So as long as you have the anointing, know that it's going to happen for you. Amen. Because the anointing does not get old. Amen. Count it all joy. Everything that you went through, glorify God because baby breakthrough is here. You're no longer bound to the things that you have cried about and went to the Lord about. God said, you never have to cry those same tears no more. Never again. He done heard the prayers, you know. He said, you've been uh, challenged in the area of your faith lately for years. And that's why he's exchanging the ashes for the beauty. He's giving you beauty for the ashes. Amen. And he says, the least important are about to become great. So stop worrying how it's going to happen, when it's going to happen. It's going to happen at the right time. It's going to happen at the right time. And just like the word of God say, when it happened, it's coming swiftly. It's coming quickly. 
So you better start getting prepared for what God has told you, what God has promised you, child. Just like me, just imagine everybody that do the same thing you're doing, just, uh, that have the same occupation, the same goal. Just imagine, line everybody up with you in that line and see how you showing up versus everybody. This girl, you child, man, you don't want to show up being the weakest link on the roster. No, no, God wants you to be the best. Amen. And that's why he gave you things to do. That's why he gave you a plan. Child, stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. Amen. And also, the Lord wanted me to discuss somebody feel like um, somebody have put witchcraft on you. Child, let me tell you something. They probably did. But at the same time, when the blood of Jesus on you, can't nothing phase you, can't nothing touch you. And that's why God... Um, told me to read that part about the inward man, the spirit man, because he gave you power to trample on all scorpions and all, all on all authority of the enemy. Amen. Can't no witch touch you. The only way the witch and the witchcraft work is you allow it. You know how many times God done woke me up out of my sleep because somebody voodoo with me. I done been voodooed so much, I don't even care no more. But these these witches ain't like the ones in the Bible. Let me tell you, the, the, the woman that gets me the most is the one that woke up Samuel when Saul went to her. She did a seance and woke up Samuel out of the grave when Saul couldn't hear from God no more. Do you see these witches doing that? No, nah, all they do is petty stuff. I don't want them to have no money. I want their body to be fat. Break their face out, God. I mean, just, just weird. Just weird. So, I don't let stuff like this stress me out, amen. Forget these witches, amen. But you got the power to overcome it. And I gave a, um, a prayer in one of my videos, and it's called, uh, They Put Witchcraft on You. So go back and look at that video and write that prayer down and start praying over yourself, child, and covering your family, covering your kids, especially your mind, because it's a mind thing. Amen. These witches, you have, these witches, just, just crazy and just weird all together. Amen. But you have to remember that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Amen. And any tongue that rises up against you in judgment, God shall condemn. So don't let no witch bring you down. Don't be around here paranoid talking about what they saying about me, what they putting on me. I don't care what they brewing up. The blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus is upon in your life. Amen. So you're going to have to rest your hope in the Lord and know that God is bringing you out. Can nothing make you uh, become stagnant and, you know, just stay in a place of wilderness. Nobody but you. You have the power to come out. God have given you the power and the authority. And God said he's showing up because you have cried a lot and you have fasted and you have prayed. And you've been trying to do everything right. And he's showing up on your behalf. He's giving beauty for ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. The people who seem to be least important is about to become great, thus says the Lord. So go before the presence of God and just pray and just thank him and just rejoice because your life is about to change. You're no longer bound in the name of Jesus. Well, you all just know that the Lord is giving beauty for ashes. He's turning your mourning into joy. And so just glorify God and stop letting your mind run wild talking about some witches and some witchcraft. We're not going to focus on no haters. We're going to focus on the implanted word. We're going to focus on God. And God already got our angels fighting for us. Amen. But you keep fighting in the spiritual realm. Say that prayer. Go back and read my video. They put witchcraft on you, child. And you keep fighting in the spiritual realm. Can't nothing touch you. God said, well, no hurt, harm, or danger come near you in the name of Jesus. Well, you all, that's all the word that I have for you all today. God is exchanging beauty for those ashes. Amen. And know that God is making you great. And you get up and you do what God is asking you to do. You, you don't have to stay in the wilderness no longer than what you have to. Amen. Be ready so you don't have to get ready when the time comes. Because when the time get here, it's happening quickly. In the mighty name of Jesus. Well, you all know that the Lord loves you and so do I. God bless. Have a great day. Grace and peace be multiplied.